With the goal of providing the best care for patients of both institutions, Evergreen Health and Virginia Mason Medical Center have entered into a partnership to work with those facing certain neurological issues. The patient is at the center of um, you know, all our activities and this collaboration was developed keeping the patient's best interests in mind, which is that they are getting the best uh, benefit from an excellent surgical team as well as an excellent medical team. I think it's good that our two institutions have uh, share a shared value system, um, you know, focusing on patient-centered care. Um, and I think that you know, there are a lot of opportunities for collaboration there. Dr. Sindhu Srivatsal strengthens the connection between Evergreen Health and Virginia Mason, actually seeing patients at both centers. Uh, the sense that I had was this was going to be um, a partnership to help benefit patients on both sides of uh, the bridge, basically the east side and Seattle, find a seamless flow for them for neurological care in general, not just movement disorders. So basically people with Parkinson's disease, the good news is that we can control symptoms for many years with a combination of medication treatments um, and therapies, including physical, occupational, and speech therapy. And then sometimes their symptoms progress to a point where we cannot optimally manage them with just medications at which time we have further discussions about alternatives such as surgery. The main one of those being deep brain stimulation surgery or DBS for short. Deep brain stimulation surgery relies on precise imaging to pinpoint the areas of the brain that control tremor. Then in the operating room, a neurosurgeon places small electrodes through the skull and into those disruptive brain cells. A very low voltage electric current is then sent through the electrodes, usually bringing about dramatic control of tremor and other life-limiting symptoms. Evergreen Health patients who are candidates for deep brain stimulation surgery are referred to the neurosurgery team at Virginia Mason. Expectation for benefit from DBS uh, should be high, frankly. Um, the, particularly for patients with essential tremor, DBS is a very effective treatment. And I said, well, we'll go talk to the doctor. And so we did that. And after about 45 minutes in the doctor's office, I said, OK, when can we do the surgery? Four years after her DBS surgery, Connie Casey works with Dr. Pinky Agarwal at Evergreen Health to fine tune the performance of the neurostimulators that control her tremor. Dr. Agarwal observes the tremor with Connie's stimulators turned off. Connie is then asked to draw a spiral and to write a sentence, but her tremor makes these simple tasks quite difficult. Can you take a sip of water from that cup? Sure. Just one-handed? Uh, however, whatever it takes. Oops. Two hands. <laughs> With the stimulators switched back on, instantly and dramatically the tremor is again controlled. Connie is able to draw the spiral and write a sentence that is quite legible. Oh, that's beautiful. You take a sip of water. I'd love to. Very nice. So it works very well when the neurostimulators are on. I've seen studies suggesting anywhere from 85 to 90, even 95 percent improvement in the amplitude of their tremor with DBS surgery. Um, and, and again, the vast majority will experience an improvement like that for uh, essential tremor. For Parkinson's disease, it, um, it is uh, also very effective. So it's, it's been just wonderful.